Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you another Photoshop tip on how to combine shape layers inside of Photoshop. That's right, from time to time we find ourselves drawing shapes and we might want to combine them together into one single shape, or even define them as their own custom shape later on. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Photoshop. Alright, so before we can get started with actually combining some shapes, I actually have to draw some shapes out on the canvas here. So I'm going to start off pretty simple, and I'm just going to grab a circle. So I'm going to grab this circle shape right here, and I'm just going to hold down my shift key and click and drag that out, like so. So that puts that out on the canvas. And then I'm going to draw another shape on top of it. And so I'll just create a new layer to put the shape in, and then I'll come up here and grab another shape. And in this case, I'm just going to grab something a little different this time. Let's grab, oh, what do you say? Let's just grab like a footprint like this, okay? So we'll grab the footprint, and I'll just click and drag that out, and then put it right in the center, something like that. If you really want to center them up, you can select both of them, and then quickly switch to the Move tool, and then just kind of center them up like so. But on the tutorial that I saw, the suggestion was to just take these two shapes and either group them together or convert them into a smart object or simply select them like so and then move them, scale them, etc. together. But what I want is one single shape so I can change the color, so I can move it, scale it, do whatever I want or I want to also be able to define it as its own custom shape. Let's say I, this is a logo or something. I want to be able to use this anytime. So in order to do that, all I have to do is come right here to the layers panel. I'm going to select the vector mask of the foot and you'll notice when I select that a little bounding box comes up around it. I'll go ahead and press Command C on the Mac, Control C on the PC. Then I'm going to select the vector mask of the circle. And I'll hit Command V on the Mac, Control V on the PC. And it's going to paste it right in there. I can now throw the top layer away. There you see it's all one single layer. But if I want to combine these into their own shape, I select the Path Selection tool right here. Okay, with the path selection tool selected, all I have to do is click and select those and then hit the combine button in the options bar. Once I hit combine, they're all one single shape, not independent of each other. And if I click away and switch to my move tool, I can then scale, rotate, do whatever I want, and they are now one single shape. I can also come over here and I can double click and change the color. So if I want to change that to a green color, for instance, just change it like that. If I want to make this its own custom shape so that I can use it again and again in my designs, I come back and grab the path selection tool, click on the shape, and then I can right click it and choose define custom shape, and I'll just call this foot logo. Hit enter. Now watch if I throw this away. If I go and switch back to my custom shape tool, and look inside my custom shapes. There is my foot logo at the very bottom. I'll select it, and now I can draw out another one. Let me do that again. Shift, there it is. And I can use that anytime I want in any design utilizing those two shapes that I combined. So there you have it, how to quickly and easily combine shapes in Photoshop to make more complex artwork. Well, that about wraps up this tutorial. As you can see, it's pretty easy to combine shapes in Photoshop once you know the secret. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them here on YouTube or on my blog site at justinseeley.com. You can also send me a message via Twitter. I'm at Justin Seeley. You can reach me on Facebook at facebook.com slash seeleyfb. And you can also reach me on my Google Plus page at justn.me slash js on g+. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you again next time.